What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we have a coolant leak on a 3-2 Puma. Not my favorite, but I am going to show you how to check it out and, well, not show you where the coolant leak is, but how to do a coolant leak pressure test on your Super Duty or Power Stroke in your Ford. You guys want to check it out? Watch this video and learn. Alright guys, let's do it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel tonight. It's going to be a popular question, a popular thing that you guys are going to need to do if you have a coolant leak on your vehicle. Whether it's a Ford, a GM, a Chrysler, a gas, a diesel, it doesn't matter. In order to find a coolant leak that you can't visually see a, a hole in the radiator and coolant leaking out of it, sometimes you need to use a pressure tester. Now, I have various attachments that go on to the cooling system. This one is for the transits and any of them that have this style bottle with, I should say, this style cap, this double O-ring cap. You have an O-ring here and an O-ring up here. This is the adapter for that. Now, I got this back in 2016 from Matco. If you guys want the part number, there it is. I also have one from Mac that I have had for a long time. This was back in the 7.3 days and 6.0 and 6.4 and 6.7. This has been my go-to one uh, for all my super duties right here. This is one I had to buy for the secondary cooling systems. All of the power strokes have the secondary cooling system on the right hand side and if you need to pressurize that I have a video showing you why then this is the adapter that you're gonna need now the cooling system pressure tester is something that I got from Mac quite 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 a long time ago and I got it here over on the bench but this is pretty much everything that it comes with here it is right here definitely has gotten a lot of use and we are going to assemble all of these components here in just a few minutes and I'm going to show you how to pressure test your vehicle. All right even though I'm showing you guys on a transit the same scenario and process is going to be for your pickup, your Super Duty, your cab chassis, whatever else you're testing, your 3.0, your gas jobs, your non Ford, pretty much going to be the same thing for all cooling systems. So one of the things I want to start off by saying, if you guys have the vehicle already hot, and let's say you do not have a coolant leak. Now I'm not saying take a radiator cap off of the radiator, how they were old school. I have hundreds, thousands of times removed the degas bottle cap from a vehicle that is already hot slowly and have successfully removed it. That's not going to be the same with the radiator. If you have a cap on the radiator, that stuff, that coolant is going to juice out when it is hot. There is a bigger air void in the degas bottle that allows the level to change without blowing the cap off in your face. So, to begin, if you have a tight, non-leaking cooling system and your vehicle is hot and you take this cap off, I'm asking you a question. What should you hear? Just like that. If you are hot, and you take the cap off and you do not hear anything, then that means you have no pressure in the cooling system. We have this under pressure to bring up the boiling point. What temperature does water boil at? 212. If we put that contents under pressure, our boiling point 
is now going to be greater than would it have been if I had it under no pressure. So when you have no pressure in here and it's hot, you have a good indication that you probably have a leak. So this is where we come in with the cooling system pressure tester and test the cooling system. The scenario that I do is I will pressure test the vehicle cold and I will pressure test the vehicle hot and see if there's any changes, if I can't verify a leak. Sometimes the leak's right out in the open and you can find it, other times I can't. Sometimes it's more visible because things expand when they're hot and then I can see the leak or the crack and whatever is cracked, i.e. EGR coolers. Sometimes they're kind of tricky to find on these, but uh, you know, using the pressure tester, you're able to determine that. So if you guys looked just a few seconds ago what the pressure rating on the cap is, this is gonna denote the cooling system pressure. It used to be 16, but these newer vehicles are now 21. So let's zoom in here a little bit, and we're gonna go all the way to 21. And we're not, we're not gonna go like this. <laughs> We're gonna take nice, gradual pumps, and we're gonna pump this vehicle all the way up. Now this has a leak. I did find a rupture in the upper hose, the uh, clamp on one of the coolant lines above it had chafed a hole in it and is leaking. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it as high as the cap actually says but we're gonna see how high we can get it. Okay, I'm starting to hear coolant leak actually right now. I don't know if we're gonna get past here, but you guys can get the idea. I am gonna be going all the way to about right here where the 20 PSI mark is, this, this white arrow. I'm gonna pump it all the way up and then let it sit here and see if the pressure is bleeding down. Right now, the pressure is bleeding down. Let's see if you guys can watch that real time. I don't know if it's gonna move. It's got a small pinhole in it. I can hear it leaking right now. Um, but this is pretty much, this is the same procedure that you're gonna be performing on your gas. If it is a, in a Super Duty, if it's in a GM, a Chrysler product, whatever, um, this is something that you guys are going to want to get. And I'll see if you can hear the pressure release. You guys heard that pressure that I put on it release out there. That is what you should hear when you take your cap off when the vehicle is hot, indicating that you have a tight cooling system. Now, you can go to your auto parts store and borrow these, rent them, or you guys can buy these yourself. I bought this quite a long time ago, probably about 18 years ago, 17 years ago, and uh, yeah, she's been around the block. A little rusted, but uh, she still works great, and um, I did have to buy uh, an adapter, uh, obviously, for these new vehicles. Question for you guys, have you ever had to pressure test your power stroke uh, to check for a cooling system leak? I'll make sure to post the links for my cooling system playlist in the description so you guys can be well-versed on the areas and leak points on your trucks. Let me know in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See you. Oh, <laughs>